Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Timmy from Pure Kicks, back again with another performance review. And as you guys can tell by the title, today we're taking a look at the Nike Hyperdunk 10. <laughs> Let's get it. So before we get started, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button and show your support like you guys already have. It helps the channel out massively and we really, really appreciate it. And of course, hit that subscribe button to make sure you never miss a thing when it comes to Pure Kicks and the notification bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. So the Nike Hyperdunk 10 evidently is the 10th shoe in the Nike Hyperdunk line. One of the most consistent lines and considered to be Nike's signature line with no name attached to it but just being their president shoe for basketball. It's actually been said that they may be putting this model to sleep for a little while with 10 years of Hyperdunk. So this is how they're gonna be ending an absolute error. But first things first, massive shout out to Pro Direct for sending these over. We were super excited to get them on feet and on the court and even more excited to be sharing our thoughts and opinions with you guys. So with that being said, let's get into it. So starting out with my favorite part of the shoe, the fit. I know, it's never normally the fit has been number one thing, but the Hyperdunk did its thing. The Hyperdunk itself fits like a glove. Thanks to Flywire and even the materials, which I'll get into in a minute, all really hug the foot extremely well and just feel awesome on foot. From start to finish of your workouts or your sessions or your scrimmages, it holds the foot extremely well. But all that being said, they also fit true to size. So whichever size you normally get, I suggest getting that same one. Because you'll be blessed. Because they're true. No lies. True to size. No lies. Bars. So given the fit on the Hyperdunker score, it comes out of the gate at a fantastic 8 out of 10. Which makes sense. They just fit that well. And they're true to size. No lies. Next up, we're talking about materials. Which is a bit of a weird one, because for me personally, the materials used in the Hyperdunk 10 is a bit of a step back. No pun intended. It was, but... I can't think of one quick enough, sorry. No puns here. If you look at the rest of the lines of the Hyperdunk 2017 and 2016, the materials were second to none. First off, they were fly knit. Fly knit. Here in the Hyperdunk 10, we have an overall mesh construction with a neoprene-like midfoot and tongue, which is almost one piece but then the tongue itself is attached. Constructed extremely well, which adds to the fit as I spoke about earlier, the material itself just seemed pretty basic. There's nothing to scream about because we've seen them countless times already on most Nike basketball shoes. The materials use a little edge due to durability. Now, some might argue it's not quite the material, but more the paint. After one wear, I did have a little scratch. And if you know me, I can't deal with chip paint, especially on a shoe as clean as this. It chipped off just a little bit and it did pretty much upset me, I'm not gonna lie. And it was only after one wear. So given materials on the Hyperdunk at score, it's gonna come in at a nice all round seven. Nothing to scream about, definitely above average, but nothing to scream about. So next up, we're talking about support. And in the Hyperdunk 10, we have the usual suspects. The outrigger shape in the forefoot. The midfoot comes with these fly wire cables which help with that midfoot lockdown. Of course, your usual spec of a heel counter, which is pretty sturdy, and along with the high top in this particular shoe, which actually comes up quite far, allowing you to lace up throughout. All of which come together really, really well. Definitely not constrictive, so it does allow your game to flow, but definitely holds you in and allows the shoe to move with you rather than against you. Or not at all, because the last thing you want is to be going left and the shoe is just not doing anything. Or you're going right and the shoe also is just not doing anything because that would just be annoying. Given the Hyperdunk support a score, it comes in an all round above average seven. It's nothing to scream about, it's not giving you ultimate containment and lockdown, but it does allow your game to flow and it does allow you to move. So therefore, it definitely deserves an above average score. So next up, we're talking about cushioning. And the Nike Hyperdunk 10, we see two zoom bags in the heel and in the forefoot. A massive one in the heel, which is I believe is 10 millimeters thick, where we got six millimeters in the forefoot. Now I mentioned this a little earlier, we are talking materials, but this setup is also a massive step back. In the Nike Hyperdunk 2017, we saw full length React. In the 2016, we saw full length Zoom. So to go 
backwards and then decouple it and put a thinner one in the forefoot and a thicker one in the heel doesn't make sense to me. It did okay, but it still doesn't make sense to me. The cushioning held up well. In the forefoot, you've got that loads of ground responsiveness, while in the heel, you've also got that responsiveness along with impact protection as well. For those of you guys who have played in heel zoom or forefoot zoom or even this setup just here, all know that full length zoom comes second to none. So why it's not in the Hyperdunk 10 definitely bothers me just a little bit. So the cushioning in the Hyperdunk 10 comes in an all round above average seven. Above average, yes, because it does do the trick and it does feel really good. But nothing more, just because it's a bit of a step back, it should be full length, so you're gonna lose some points there. Sorry, bro. So lastly, talking about traction. In the Hyperdunk 10, we see this wavy, modified herringbone pattern, which holds up okay. The court we normally play on is a mildly dusty court, which makes it great for testing out kicks, which is normally the case for most of us because we don't all have access to perfectly clean courts, which most users are gonna hold up perfectly on anyway. So what I felt when playing is that the Hyperdunk 10 didn't quite have me. There was some slip in when going for loose balls, step backs, twists and turns didn't feel as bitey, which just had an overall effect on my whole game, which it would anyone. The compound used did pick up some dust, which meant wiping every other play, which did help. However, does get in the way when you're trying to get into your back. When we're talking outdoor play, would I recommend the Hyperdunk 10 outdoors? Yes but only for a little while. They won't hold up for long, but they will do the trick while you're out there. So I wouldn't suggest having them as your go-to outdoor shoe, but if you need to, they'll be all right. So when we're talking an overall score, the Hyperdunk 10 comes in at above average seven. Why? Because it's an above average performer. The fit, the materials, and even the support all do super, super well and feel great on the court. Is let down by the traction just a little bit, However, everything else is taken care of and it is a top performer on the court and great value for your money as well. If you do plan on picking up a pair for yourself, head over to Pro Direct, hit the link in the description and for a limited time only, use Pure Kicks 10 as a discount code and get 10% off. Steven! I'd get involved because they're already great value and then you get 10% off. So don't act like we don't do anything for you because we do, because we love you guys. Safe. So all right guys, there you have it. That's my thoughts on the Hyperdunk 10. As per usual, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and show your support because we really, really appreciate it. And all the support so far has been amazing and that's how the channel's gonna grow. So make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And of course, comment down below what your thoughts are on the Hyperdunk 10. If you've only seen them online or if you've seen them on someone, or even if you tried them out, we'd love to know what your thoughts are on the shoe. And if you did pick up a pair using a discount code, let us know on our socials, purekicks.ig on Instagram and purekicks underscore TW on Twitter, because we'd love to know. So just like the red on this shoe, make sure you hit that red subscribe button so you never miss a thing when it comes to pure kicks. Whether it's our comparisons, our performance reviews, our basketball talks, hit the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video so you never miss a thing. So all right guys, that's it from me. This is the Nike Hyperdunk 10. I'm Timmy from Pure Kicks. Let's get it.